Orange chicken is a classic American Chinese dish. Batter coated chicken that is deep fried till crispy and golden brown. Then tossed in a sweet and slightly spicy orange sauce. It's crunchy. It's sticky. It's sweet. It's an American favorite. And we're gonna see if it appeals to the Indian palate. So watch till the end. Horns up and welcome to a brand new episode of Headbangers Kitchen. Folks, smash that like button if you like Chinese food. It is one of my favorite cuisines and what I find really amazing about it is how the Chinese food in India is so different from the Chinese food in the UK, which is different from the Chinese food in America. Literally every country has their own version of Chinese food. And today we're going to be trying to make the orange chicken, which is like the most popular American Chinese dish. So I want to see what the fuss is all about and I'm going to get a couple of friends to taste it as well and see if it appeals to the Indian palate. Anyway, enough jibber jabber, let's get cooking. I've got some ginger that I'm going to chop up. It adds a nice punchy flavor to the dish. I'll get a few cloves of garlic and do the same. Use as much or as little as you like. Then some green onion finely chopped, mostly for the garnish and finishing the dish. There are people that use orange juice from a pack for this recipe, but not me. I've got two fresh oranges that I will zest for an extra orange flavor and then I will juice both the oranges to make the freshest and most vibrant orange sauce. Now let's make our basic orange sauce and the Americans like it sweet so I add some white sugar to the orange juice, some brown sugar, orange zest, some MSG and yes MSG is safe and fine to use, some white vinegar, dark soya sauce, sesame oil and then give it all a good whisk till the sugar is dissolved and also taste the sauce for balance now. Once that's done, let's get to prepping the chicken. I'm using boneless chicken thighs for this recipe because dark meat rules and it always stays juicy. So I chop my chicken up into nice bite-sized pieces, just a bit bigger than the average bite. Now to make our batter, it's all-purpose flour, corn flour, baking powder, salt, pepper, one egg and then whisk it slowly and add water till you get the thick but slightly runny consistency for the batter. Remember, it's easier to add water than to remove it, so take your time. Once the batter is ready, it's time to add the chicken in and then give it all a good mix and pop it in the fridge for a bit till we fry. I will quickly whip up a corn flour slurry now by mixing corn flour with room temperature water and give that a good mix to make the slurry. This will help thicken our sauce. Let's fry our chicken. So get your oil in your best deep frying dish and then check the temperature and once it's hot you add in your chicken and just fry that for about 5 to 6 minutes. The frying time depends on how big you've cut the chicken pieces. Once my first batch is done, I remove them from the oil and set them on a wire rack. I fry the chicken in batches because I'm using a small pan and not too much oil. Honestly, the amount of oil that gets used is generally one of the reasons I avoid deep frying anything at home. But once in a while, like today, I make an exception. Once the second batch is done, I get that out of the pan and onto the rack as well. That looks crispy. Now the first batch of chicken I fried is looking a bit blonde, so I pop them back in the oil for a second fry. This will ensure maximum crispiness. Just a minute or so in the oil and it's done. Now just listen. To make the sauce, get your wok on the stove and heat up some oil. Add in dried red chilies, the ginger, the garlic and then saute till fragrant. Pour in your orange sauce and give it all a good mix. Then we add the corn flour slurry and wait till the sauce thickens up. And once the sauce is thick, it's ready. So in goes our fried chicken and you give it all a good mix. Now you need to do a few wok tosses. Remember, this is all about confidence. So give that chicken a good toss so that it's coated in that sauce. And that looks pretty epic if you ask me. So now that it's ready, it's time to serve. Get out your plate, a nice bed of jasmine rice, pop that chicken on top of the rice, sprinkle some sesame seeds and finish with the spring onion. And there you have it, the American Chinese favorite, a riot of sweet and sticky flavors orange chicken and now enough jibber jabber, it's time to taste. Hi Dipti. Hi Sahil. Have you ever heard of orange chicken before Dipti? Uh, the only place I've heard of orange chicken is on TV shows. Like when people get takeout, Chinese takeout on TV shows, they're always ordering orange chicken. That's, that's my only reference for it. I've heard of it and I've tried the original uh, 
Panda Express orange chicken in the US and uh, honestly uh, when I had it over there I found it a little disappointing so I'm uh, I'm excited to try the like the legit version so yeah I've heard of it I actually saw a video on YouTube where uh, I think it was orange chicken and some other person used put Fanta in it it was Fanta chicken and orange chicken or something I normally like sweet stuff so I think I might like this your version. recreating yeah. the Panda Express version dig in smells like dessert Hmm, I can smell the orange. Hmm. <laughs> it's good. Actually, it kind of reminds me also of the Cadbury orange uh, flavor. This is a very confusing flavor. It tastes like the chocolate orange cake, but there's chicken in it. It's very intensely orange. Hmm, I like it. I was expecting a lot more intense orange flavor, but it's really nice. That's the idea. Yeah, I guess. That first shock of orange is a bit uh, like it does taste like dessert, like. I should be eating dessert instead but it's growing on me. It is like chili chicken but with a like a hint of orange. So how uh, orange flavored dark chocolate has like a hint. It's not too overpowering and it's uh, which I liked it. How do you rate this on a scale of 1 to 10? 8 and a half. 8 and a half. Yeah. 7? Mm, 6. Okay. Would you ever ask me to make this again for you? Well, if I do, I'd probably ask you to reduce the orangeness of it a little bit. So the sweetness of the orange is still there, but not that very intense orange flavor, which tastes almost like you threw orange extract into it. But it's, it's interesting. It is now time for me to try the orange chicken. So let me dig in. Mmm, a little sweet, a little tangy, a little spicy and juicy chicken. I would probably have a little more sauce or gravy with this for sure but i can see why people like this i didn't go too heavy handed on the sugar because i didn't want it to be like super sweet but this does the job i think anyway let me know if you've ever had orange chicken what do you think about it and i will see you on the next episode of headbangers kitchen until then cheers and keep cooking thank you to everyone who supports me on patreon and my youtube channel memberships you folks are awesome thank you for all your support and if you would like to support me on Patreon or on the YouTube channel memberships, the links are in the description box just below this video.